Razorbacks head to Tuscaloosa to take on the number one ranked Crimson Tide this weekend. UATV's Aaron Pryor has a closer look at the matchup. Aaron? Some place they play football. Alabama, you live it. Well, Razorback fans, there is no easy way to put it. Alabama does not mess around. Led by A.J. McCarron at quarterback, the Tide offense is putting up nearly 39 points per game and averaging close to 448 total yards of offense. McCarron is putting up solid numbers this season, completing 69% of his passes with 11 touchdowns and only three interceptions. That's one less pick than games John O. Smith won all of last year. Smile! No, John O. Smile! John O., please stop. Smile! Okay, John O., what state are the Razorbacks in? State of Alabama. Oh, okay. Time for a nap, coach. The Alabama rushing attack averages 188 yards a game between leading rusher T.J. Yeldon and sophomore Kenyon Drake, who combined have scored 11 touchdowns and averaged almost 7 yards per carry. That's not nice, T.J., and then, of course, the vaunted Alabama defense, a defense that gives up 278 yards per game, good for eighth in the country, and a rush defense that gives up just 87 yards per game. Oh, yeah, and they've yet to give up a touchdown at home this season. Arkansas is a 28-point underdog this weekend, and unfortunately for the Hogs, they're going to need all the luck in the world to even have a shot against Alabama. Smile! With starting defensive tackle Robert Thomas out for the year, the Hogs will turn to a true freshman to help anchor their front four. UATV's Reed Hunter has more on this unique situation. Well, Hog fans, the Razorback defensive line has a new look to it with Darius Phylon filling in for the injured Robert Thomas. And Phylon might know Alabama better than you think. This is ironically will be Darius' first start uh, as a college football player, and it gets to be against the University of Alabama from Alabama. It's something I'm sure he'll remember, remember for a very long time. One player Phylon will be feasting his eyes on is Alabama quarterback A.J. McCarron. But don't expect McCarron to lose his cool. I'd be composed too if I had those guys in front of me. Um, and I threw those group of wide receivers and, and I had that tight end and that uh, tailback. I think that he's got uh, a great situation. The fact that he's got good players around him, he manages the game very effectively. And remember, Hog fans, the game will be televised on ESPN at 6 o'clock. For UATV Sports, I'm Reed Hunter. Now, Darius Phylon isn't the only player facing this former home state on Saturday. Arkansas will be going up against North Little Rock native Alt Tenpenny. The freshman running back has rushed for 66 yards on the year and was named the Freshman SEC Special Teams Player of the Week. Now, the Razorbacks team isn't the only team facing the big game this weekend. Kinsey Williams is live with more. Kinsey? Thanks, Cassie. The Hogs will host the number two Florida Gators tomorrow night. This will be the 37th meeting between the squads. Florida is a solid team, but in turn will face a solid Arkansas defense. The Lady Razorbacks are 44th in the NCAA with 2.6 blocks per set, and the defense behind that wall isn't too bad either. Senior libero Emily Helm has already dug her way to two SEC Defensive Player of the Week honors, as well as a couple of all-tournament accolades. Game starts at 7, and fans are encouraged to wear red. Back to you, Cassie. Thanks for that, Kinsey. Let's hope the Hogs can do what the football team couldn't beat Florida. And I'm really, really, really looking forward to this Alabama game after the loss uh, last week against South Carolina. It's going to be interesting. What do you think, Cassie? I think it's going to be good. I mean, if we look at it, I think Alex Collins is really going to go for it. He's paired up with someone that didn't choose Arkansas when he had the chance. So I feel like Alex is going to go for it. He is really impressing me with his freshman stats. Now let's take a look at